we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do um, a reading for you about your ex. So it's gonna be a bit about you and, um, well, a little bit about you, but more so about the ex. Why the ex keeps holding on, why they won't leave you alone. And then we're gonna also talk about why you keep holding on or why you won't leave this relationship alone. And then we'll get some energy that rests between the two of you. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. When I was uh, meditating off camera for you, it, it's like a, it was like a, a, a woman in full body armor, even up to her face. And her hair was like out in the back. It was very long hair. And she was like riding on a horse, like she was like riding into battle. I don't know, you know, if somebody's been... Um, Somebody's coming towards you. I heard same sex. I don't know. Somebody's trying to, you know, come towards you, come back, or they have on full body armor. So say it's that they're trying to protect themselves, okay? Or somebody's trying to protect themselves, or you could be doing this. You know, uh, you, you'll have the conversation, or you will engage. But I need to protect myself. Protection. All right. Let's see why your ex won't leave it alone. <clears throat> The Ace of Swords, they may have something to say to you. With the Ace of Swords uh, coming out, whatever this is, it's going to cause conflict before it actually, um, you know, you actually get resolution here. So it's going to be conflict before resolution. With the Ace of Swords, they can't leave it alone because they feel like it really hasn't been cut off. Somebody hasn't really shut them out or shut them off or it's still opportunity to start anew also this person can't let it go or they don't want to leave it alone because they feel like they haven't gotten the truth like if they just press you a little bit more then you'll you'll show yourself naked okay or you, you'll give them the truth that's what the card says um this person also maybe likes coming back and um you know sparking up the flame here of love like they like to come back and uh get it started again but it, it it's no progression it goes nowhere it goes nowhere fast so this person just comes back and they get it all started again and then you know boom they're out this is somebody who likes to in and out it, it's also someone here who they feel like well i haven't been cut off or you haven't done the irrevocable um but I know it's inevitable. Somebody knows that eventually they'll get cut off because they're not offering anything. The relationship is not progressing. They're also not being honest. Okay. They're hoping this ex is hoping that you don't see the truth of the matter. They're hoping that they can still kind of hide behind the love that you have for them. So that's why they come in and out. Why are you still holding on, Sag? The four of wands. It's like um, maybe for the house or the children or what you've established or... Um, I heard the camaraderie, maybe like the, 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 um, friendship aspect of it. 
you're holding on because you still want victory or you want to you want to elope or you want to run off into the sunset or you feel like this is your twin flame life partner soulmate you just feel as if there could be a victory had um you guys could be victorious together you're still holding on to hope you're holding on to the desire of you're still holding on to the love and this person knows that you're still holding on to love or the love aspect I heard nowhere else to go also. You could be holding on maybe because you don't have anywhere else to go in terms of you don't have another person. Um, you could be holding on because you, out of all the other options or the choices or the women, maybe you're number one or you want to be number one or you couldn't be the victor you know, if you just hang in there, you're going to get the contract or you feel like you have a soul contract with this person. Or if it, it if it's not that, it's like, you. if I just keep going, it's going to be a successful project. So if something is a project, that means you had to, um, a lot of moving parts and you had to make it work. So it's just like some of you are still holding on because you're still holding on to hope in regards to making it work and getting your desired outcome and, um, you know, everybody's seeing you victorious and, and you celebrating with this person, with your ex. Let's see what the energy is between the two of you. The King of Pentacles. So, this could be somebody who has money somebody's holding on because somebody has money or they have power prestige they've done a lot for themselves uh their provider they they're a giver they're gonna they're reliable they're gonna always somebody could be holding on because they know that they're always be taken care of um physically financially um somebody could be holding on for the pentacle for the end result um if I just hang in there, you will be my husband or you will be my wife or I'll be your husband. Um, yeah, somebody's holding on for the end result because the pentacle is the last suit. That's where we all want to get. We want to get to manifestation. The pentacle is about manifestation. So it's like somebody's trying to manifest uh, a real boyfriend, husband, uh, whatnot, a provider. If I hang in there, I will get the contract i will get i heard the last laugh or i will be the one chosen let's see what's going on um in regards to you and your and your person of uh, sagittarius why is uh sagittarius sagittarius x the um, ace of swords why are they the ace of swords okay sexy wife so yeah somebody feels like um I can just be um, sexy, you know, I can always uh, seduce this person. I can always come in and out, you know, and seduce them. I can inflame, I can, maybe that was that, that woman riding on that horse, you know, like she's still got her body armor on, like she's not trying to fall in love, but maybe just have a little fun, lust. Um, it was giving me like Knight of Wands type of energy. Um, somebody feels like I can just turn on my sex appeal, I'll get what I want. And when it gets a little too heavy, I'll be out. Someone also feels like they can come back or they'll, they always come back or so. Yeah. What is the four of wands for Sagittarius? Rich husband can't make it up. Somebody was like, I, that's exactly what I was getting with the four of wands. Someone was like, I'm going to be handed this lifestyle, this contract. I know that there are others right now but I do not care. I'm just going to hang in there because if I do, I know that I will have the rich husband. This could even be magic. This could even be someone doing, you know, love potion spell, whatever. Um, rich husband. Yes. Yeah, somebody wants a rich husband. It could be four wands is my like circle of women. So this could be, um, witches or someone is witchy or has witch vibes or someone, um, somebody knows that there are other women's or another option here. Uh, but they're, they're not phased by it or they feel like they're going to get the, the opportunity. They're going to get the ring. They're going to get the proposal. They're going to get the, the large contract, which is marriage, right? 
What is the King of Pentacles resting between Sagittarius and their person? What is King of Pentacles? Please work with me. All right, so the King of Pentacles could be saying, you know, just work with me. Just hang in there because I'm not ready to settle. Um, both parties, are, it looks like both parties, the ex, you, Sagittarius, you might be ready to throw in a towel, like let's be committed like yesterday, but this person is in and out, you know, um, somebody wants a sexy wife, somebody's willing to pay for it. And somebody is the rich husband. Okay. Um, someone's saying work with me. I'm not ready to make the commitment right now. There is some woman who really wants this Sagittarius man I'm picking up and will do anything to be the last one standing like the honey badger like just you know continuously there not giving up not giving up on this relationship even though right now they may not be getting um you know the fullness of this person or the complete a complete relationship somebody is still dating other people what else is going on here yeah you broke my heart someone's heart I can't choose we got this maybe this king of pentacles can't choose and they're saying, so what? I lied. I'm a narcissist. Somebody is just like, look, this is what I am. This is who I am. This is what I do. I'm the king of pentacles. I'm the boss. You're going to get with it. Um, this is my life. I'm the rich husband. You're the sexy wife. Get in line. Work with me, not against me. I'm um, someone saying you broke my heart here or you're breaking my heart. Um, it could be active. Someone is feeling, someone is hoping that this person gets to a place of where they want to, um, Oh, oh, that they open up, okay? That they open up, uh, that they let them into their heart space. Somebody is keeping distance also with the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody doesn't like intimacy, you know? Um, this could even be indicative of like, this is nervousness, anxiety. This could even be like someone um, not knowing why they feel this way about this particular person. This could even be spell work. This is just about the sex, okay? So someone is saying, okay, it's just about the sex. I come in, I get my sex, I leave. Um, some, there's also a man here not understanding why some woman is not just taking to him like, you know, sliced bread or like newfound religion. Like she just doesn't care. Um, she's kind of, you know, dancing to the, the rhythm of her own drum. It's just like this person is just not... You know, falling at this person's feet. Somebody doesn't know how to take that. Um, that's another story. Um, this is just about the sex. The reason why you keep holding on is because you want this rich husband, Sagittarius, and this person is still dating, still in and out, still doing their thing. They want a sexy wife, but they're not ready to settle right now. Your heart was broken at one time, maybe when you thought that you were the only one. But you realizing that somebody can't choose and they're not choosing and that they are a liar. And that at this point right now, they're keeping it just about the sex and they care for you. You may love them or you it could be care or you just see in them stability, longevity, reliability, financial stability. And um, this is why you really want this. Yeah, somebody's telling you, I want to be single. Um but somebody's holding on for dear life. They won't let go. It could be you, Sag. It could be the other person. It looks like it came up in your energy. They have things they haven't told you, you know. Um, this could be you. This could be the other person. I'm very insecure. Somebody's extremely insecure, and this is why they want to hold on to something. They're trying to possess out of fear. If people belong to you or belong with you, they will stay on purpose not out of you manipulating energy and definitely you shouldn't want to be with someone for fear of losing them and never finding someone like them or a fear of them being with someone else everything is happening just how it should be and that's the energy and that's the that's how you should govern your life everything is happening just how it should be so this is what i have for you sagittarius it's like somebody holding on for dear life the other person is like look you know, it could happen. I could choose you if I was choosing, um, but I am not. I want to be single. Uh, you, you're in the running for next top model, but I ain't choosing right now. So, um, 
this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. If it resonates, you want to get your own personal reading just like this one, go over to the website, book uh, your reading there. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to shout out some of my uh, places where I have bought uh, high viewership, and that is uh, L.A., New York, Chicago, Atlanta, Houston, um, London, Florida, Philadelphia, and Dallas, okay? Um, thank you, guys. Continue. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if you are a business-minded individual, you want to get on your uh, complimentary discovery call with me, take advantage of that. Let's see how I can help you get to your goals. And if you're just a business-minded individual and you want to be around like-minded people, you want to get valuable, practical, and spiritual um, methods of how to either start your business or grow your business, go ahead and sign up for the KTMG. Keep the momentum going monthly uh, conference call. It is a wait list because there's so many people who act actually took to it. So take advantage of that. Get on the wait list. At least start today. Take the next step today in regards to your, uh, your future. Okay. So thank you, Sagittarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.